MMAfighting.com. We're here with one of the talks of Dublin, of course, Mr. Kiefer Crosby, who has just become a new father, uh, which you posted just there in the last day. This is amazing. I didn't know this was going down. And, um, you know, it, it's happened so close to the fight. How did you juggle both of these things? And congratulations, of course. Thanks very much. Yeah, it was a mad few weeks. You know what I mean? Um, he was due to be here last week. He came very late. And then, funny enough, they were telling us they're going to bring her in on Saturday to get things on their way, and I was like, ah, oh, fuck, don't do this to me, do you know what I mean? Fucking Saturday, fight day, I was having visions of fucking warming up in the labor room, getting my hands wrapped and just running down to the tree arena and having a fight, but um, he's here, he's healthy, he's happy, everything's great, and I'm on top of the fucking world right now, so. That must give you an extra pep in your step going into a fight like this. I mean, I know you're, you're a guy who likes to, you know, use the aggression inside, you know, but I, I mean, when you get a new, new, new member of your family, I mean, it must motivate you in terms of earnings, in terms of career, everything. Yeah, do you know what, big time, normally, again, yeah, people say I'm intense and I'm so, I'm just, I'm just get focused, you know what I mean? I, I call it focus more so than intense, but it's, uh, I have a different type of buzz now, do you know what I mean? Like, gratitude is an important uh, tool you have to master, you know what I mean? And I have this mad surge of just gratitude, and there's no malice around with, with, with the opponent. I'm just, I'm just ready to win. I'm ready to fight hard. I'm ready to fucking go out there and do the job. You know what I mean? That's, that's all it is. There's no emotion on my end around, but I'm just super fucking just motivated to, to go out there and perform now. And do you know what I mean? For me, family, and understand like when I take a look at him, it's like fuck. This is what I'm doing it for. It's not just about me in here. Do you know what I mean? It's about my family. It's about everyone. I'm trying to bring them up with me and change their life through what I'm doing. A true change of my own life. Do you know what I mean? And that's a mad different type of motivation. It's a different source of motivation. So I'm just ready to fucking go out there and fight hard and win for them. Do you know what I mean? So I'm, I'm on top of the world right now. A happy fire is a dangerous fire, and I am on top of the world, mate. So imagine how I'm feeling. <laughs> I can see it in you. Actually, just talking to you. Buzzing. I'm just buzzing. I can't wait. To go. And again, it's, it is a different buzz. I'm full of energy. I went training at the night he was born, and the training session was even better. Do you know what I mean? It was like I have this. Don't know where I was getting the energy from. Do you know what I mean? But I'm fucking. I just can't wait to go out there and do the job now Saturday. Yeah. It, it must be a relief. Final one. I promise you on the baby. It, it must be a relief though that it came early rather than Saturday. You must have been in the back of your head like, please God, don't let this happen. Listen, man. I was shitting myself. Yeah, because I was thinking he's literally gonna be here Saturday. Like, do you know what I mean? Saturday. Like, and I'm fighting that night, and I was thinking, what time am I on? And I was trying to re like, I didn't know what to be thinking. So. It all worked out in the end, yeah, so happy days. <laughs> we, we spoke to James Gallagher, who, of course, was meant to be the, the main event of this against uh, Kyle Eleanor, and, and we asked him about the main event selection. He said he didn't see it going for anywhere else apart from you or Leah. Now, they've gone with Leah in the end. You're a co-main event in the 240 card. You're hugely popular here. This, this is where you live. Is there any part of you that's kind of like, oh, it should have been me in the main event? No. To be honest, I'm the main attraction. So I'd rather, you know what I mean? It doesn't matter. Put me on the first fight of the night, mate, and watch what every, who everyone's talking about. Watch you blows the roof off the place. But I am delighted for Leah, to be honest. I'm a big fan of Leah, do you know what I mean? She's a great mother. She's a great role model. You know what I mean? Fair play to her. She, she, she's stepping in. She's taking on a stride. She's doing all this media. She's a great fighter, and I, I, I hope she goes out there and does the business. I really do, do you know what I mean? And uh, it's great It's great to see, obviously, women's MMA getting a, a little bit of a fucking nudge. And again... I don't give a fuck where I am on the card. I really, I, initially I was like, I, I just assumed it was going to be me, yeah? Because I am the biggest name on the card, let's be honest. Well, oh, fuck it, I don't care. To be honest, I had a hard enough week with the baby and all. I didn't need all this extra bleeding media and all this shit, but uh, I'm happy I'm happy where I am. You know what I mean? I'm, again, the main attraction. You know what I mean? So that's where my head's at right now. So. There's no doubt anyone that's been uh, to one of these shows understands how much you reverberate with the people here, the people that come to the shows. But I mean, it, it seems as though you've taken it all in your stride, but do you feel like you get an extra level of comfort every time you do it? It's like, this this is becoming more second nature to me every time. And does that have an implication on your performance? Does it make the performance better, do you feel, getting used to this situation? Because it is like a cauldron. Like, it freaks people out if they're not from Ireland and they come in, it's like, whoa. Oh, it's fucked up, yeah. I don't think people really realise it until they're in there. Like, it's madness. And even when I'm in there, like, the last fight, I couldn't hear it. The corner, I couldn't hear it. And I almost felt like saying, like, shut the fuck up. I let me listen. Like, you know what I mean? The corner were screaming and I couldn't hear anything. I could just feel, like, vibrations and singing. And it got a bit bleeding mad. But at the end of the day, it, it is what it is. You just got to take it, you know what I mean, and enjoy it and look back on it. But, um, yeah, I'm a man of the people. Do you know what I mean? I'm not above, I'm, I'm equal. So that's my frame of mind. I'm just one of these people. I'm doing it for all of us, you know what I mean? I'm doing it for everyone that comes from fuck all me to having a fucking all. I said that the other night on, on the gram. And that's my frame of mind in this. So I come from very little. I'm destined to be nothing. I'm destined to be a failure. You know what I mean? And 
that's in my head. So I'm full of gratitude every time I get to wake up in the fucking morning and go to the gym and I'm healthy. I have a great family. I'm earning serious dough now. I'm, I'm fucking, you know what I mean? I'm a big name. And again, from where I come from to this, it's, it's a story, mate. It's fucked up. And I'm just so grateful to be in this position. And again, that's motivation enough for me. Do you know what I mean? I'm destined to be nothing. Do you know what I mean? So that's, that's my motivation, realistically. So. You've you've made no um, you know bones about the fact that you know the Irish scene and McGregor completely linked. It's not going to be in this situation without him. He shows up for your fights every time. I mean, this is a guy that you obviously came up in SBG when it, when when Conor was there, even when he was younger. But does that add to it? Like when he comes in the room, and like oh, I better watch me P's and Q's here. Ah uh, man, he's just a fucking. He's a legend, man. Do you know what I mean? He's the best. Do you know what I mean? He's the best MMA fighter there is. He's he's changed the whole game. I've said this so many fucking times before, but for him to come and and be like on the phone to me and texting me and even in the gym the advice he just give me do you know what I mean the real talks and like I'm, I'm listening to him and I'm learning and I'm evolving as a martial artist and then even for him to come to the fights and more or less corner me do you know what I mean he's in me fucking corner screaming I could hear him I couldn't hear my own corner but I could hear him and uh, it's just it's uh, I'm very I'm very uh, grateful for that do you know what I mean he's a brother to me and he's a good mate and uh, I'm just so happy for him as well to be honest all the success he's he's got and he, he deserves it all man he does he really really does I don't think any of us would be here if it wasn't for him I really don't and uh, yeah but he's just uh, but all that other shit as well I just think as a martial artist that's where the real connection is I'm listening to him and I'm learning from him and about technique and about fucking shot selection and how to feel and where to be and all of that stuff I learn more so from him and I, I get a buzz off that because I'm a fighter at the end of the day do you know what I mean and uh, he's just he's an amazing person yeah I'm very grateful to have him uh, have him on my side to be honest I'm working working close yeah. thanks very much Kiefer and congratulations again man bro thanks very much yeah buzzing <laughs>